All right, I just asked myself again what I genuinely want to do in this moment, and I want to tidy up my room a little bit. It's get, getting a little cluttered just on the surfaces, um, and so I don't want to work on it too much, but I just want to make it, clean it up a little bit, make it look nice. I think that would genuinely boost my mood and genuinely make me feel good and accomplished and a clean space, an organized space is really good for my mentality. So I'll show you what it looks like now, the before, I'll show you the during and I'll show you the after. This is what my room looks like now. We have some clothes to put away and my bedside table, my desk, and my dresser are just looking a little cluttered and so I am going to clean them up a bit. All right, I'm done my little cleaning session. This is what it looks like. So we have clean bed, tidy night table, tidy desk, and tidy dresser. Ah, that feels good. I feel very productive and yeah, my mind feels a little bit clearer now that my space is decluttered. Um, now I think I'm gonna go scrounge for some dinner, um, and yeah, I will show you if I find anything good. <laughs> Alright, I had a microwavable, um, Thai chicken peanut something, and then I have some shrimp and cocktail sauce. Yummy! See you after dinner. I'm finished my dinner, and... I think what I want to do now is edit another video that I'm working on. Um, yeah, I genuinely enjoy editing and YouTube is my hobby and my passion and so I really love every step of the creative process and so I will give you a sneak peek of what I'm working on right now. Alright, I finished editing the video. I scheduled it so that it's all ready to go and be posted automatically tomorrow morning. Now that I think about it, you've probably actually already seen the video. It's already out. <laughs> go check it out if you haven't seen it. Yeah, that was genuinely enjoyable. And I find that I, I wasn't sure how productive I was going to be today because I'm letting myself do whatever I want. But I find that I actually am being pretty productive. I think not being on my phone as much as possible really helps. Because um, I'm not taking those 5, 10, 15 minute social media scrolling 
breaks in between every task. Um, yeah, so it's just past nine o'clock. And so, here, let's try something. I am going to tune in to my inner self and my intuition. And I'm going to ask myself what I want to do in this moment. And let's see what happens. Okay. I want to dance. Yeah. I'm feeling a little bit tired and usually dancing helps, you know, get my heart rate pumping and, and bring in some some energy. But I also feel like I have some energy to release. I'm feeling tired so I feel like I'm lacking energy, but I also feel like I have separate energy that I need to release through physical movement. And dancing is something that I really, really enjoy. So. I am gonna go down to my basement and get my jam on. <laughs> Come with me. Hi, I'm doing a little voiceover over these clips of me dancing or else it would just be like two minutes of me dancing and music, which I don't know, maybe entertaining, maybe a little boring. Anyway, I am dancing in front of a mirror here. That's what you see me looking at in these clips. I find dancing in a mirror to be helpful and fun. I get to see how my body moves and what my body looks like when it's moving. I don't consider myself a good dancer at all. It's the same with singing. I sing and I dance just for fun and because it's something that I enjoy. I dance for very many reasons. I dance for exercise. I dance for a self-confidence boost. Get it, girl? Eh? <laughs> I dance to release excess energy. I dance when I'm feeling anxious and need to shake something off. I dance when I want to feel like a pop star. Same with singing. You can see me really performing here. I am pretending that I am up on stage dancing and singing to these songs. Dancing is just something that I really enjoy. Watching these clips back, I, I don't know. I think I dance pretty well, and I genuinely like how I look when I'm dancing. Um, yeah, it's definitely a self-esteem boost while I'm dancing and afterwards. There's something about my energy here. I don't know. I, I, I'm looking at these clips, and I'm like, damn. I'm confident. I look confident. I look creative. I look like the energy that I'm trying to embody, and I think there is something very spiritual about dancing for me as well. Um, I don't know. I look like a YouTuber. I look like a, a creative. I look like a spiritual content creator. Damn, I'm having like a moment here. I look like what I'm trying to embody, and it feels really, really good that what's on the inside is matching the outside. <laughs> that was so much fun. I love, love, love dancing and I haven't been able to really dance in public since the pandemic or even before that really. I didn't really go out that much. So during the pandemic, dancing alone and dancing for myself has really been something that I enjoy and it is also a confidence boost. I usually dance in front of the mirror actually. So I have my mirror right here. That's what I was looking into and dancing in front of and I have these little <laughs> these little flags that I got from a <laughs> burger at Montana's that say nice buns and I have this little reminder that I got from Ness. Um, it says three reminders. I'm grateful for blank. I can let go of blank and I can rest when I need to. So yeah, I love this mirror. Focus. 
<laughs> I love this mirror and I love dancing in front of it. It truly is a confidence boost. And what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, I also say my affirmations in the mirror. It can be really powerful to look at yourself and gaze into your own eyes and either say your affirmation for the day or speak into existence what you are manifesting. I think mirror work is really cool and really great and so every day if I can remember I tell myself affirmations in the mirror and so for today this is what I would do. I would look in the mirror and I would say I am the main character and usually I just say it until I believe it or until I'm feeling really good about it and yeah mirror work is pretty cool <laughs> the last thing that I want to do before winding down for the night is I want to play my ukulele I don't get to play it that often I'm usually pretty busy with other things but if I have time for it I really do enjoy playing and so let's go back to my room and do that Actually, I'm going to film another TikTok really quick first. I've been feeling very inspired by TikTok and also having a lot of success over there and a lot of growth. Um, and so I genuinely want to film <laughs> TikToks every day, multiple times a day. It, it makes me happy. <laughs> All right, let's hang out and you can help me film this TikTok. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Are you okay? Let's try that again. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think I got it. That was a little bit precarious. I'm sitting on a chair on my bed to get the shot that I needed, but I think I got it. <laughs> So I'm going to start winding down for the night. It is 11.20 p.m. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do tonight. Uh, all the major things anyway. I also did some dishes and some laundry, you know, some, some boring things that I didn't want to bore you by showing you. Um, some final thoughts on my day of doing whatever I want. Um, it was fun. It was good. It was challenging. I think I did, in a way, end up still scheduling my day um, because I was like, oh, I want to go for a walk. Oh, and then maybe after a walk we can do this. Oh, and I also want to do that. So I did still struggle <laughs> to stay in the present and ask myself, what do I want to do right now to take away all expectations, to take away what I planned on doing today and just ask myself what I want. Um, but it was a really good exercise. It was really good practice. If you struggle with perfectionism, if you have some control issues, if you find yourself a slave to your to-do list and your schedule, um, I would really recommend just taking a day off to yourself and just doing exactly what you want. Let go of productivity, let go of success, let go of what you should be doing and just fuel your soul with what you love. I consider myself very fortunate to be able to take a day, an entire day, to myself. I know that there are many people who are not able to do that. Um, and so I, I recognize and appreciate that I am fortunate and privileged enough to be able to do that. Yeah, in summary, I enjoyed it. I felt I felt pretty productive and I think I ended up being productive, which I didn't know whether that was going to happen or or not. I thought maybe if I took away all structure that I might just end up like lounging around. But no, I ended up being pretty productive and getting a lot of things done, including a lot of things that I've been meaning to do for a while. So I do feel good, I do feel productive, but I also feel rested in that I did a lot of fun things for myself today. So yes, I enjoyed it and I recommend it if you can take a day to yourself. It feels wonderful.
and now I am just going to be winding down for the night, getting ready for bed, journaling, reading, and meditating, and then I will say goodnight. Alright, I am going to meditate and then go to bed. Thank you for joining me uh, during my day today. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. I'm sending you so, so, so much love. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you in the next one. Good night.